Thank you so much to the Fulbright Association for having me here today. This talk will encompass research I've been doing for the past five or six years or so. So we start with Sesame Street. One of television's most culturally significant shows, connecting people for 50 years as of this year and counting. Sesame Street spread like wildfire when it debuted in 1969. And almost immediately, people in places like Iran, Germany, and Mexico were begging for Sesame Street to come to their countries. So Sesame Street actually went viral before going viral was a thing, right? And the show became a global phenomenon. This is the cover of Life magazine this month, and it says Sesame Street was a show that changed the world. And what's interesting is that in these 50 years, Sesame Street is still rooted in the pop culture lexicon. In fact, Kermit the Frog, who was on that 1969 episode, that first debut episode, was literally ranked one of the most popular memes on Twitter this year. This is one of my favorite memes. The professors in the room and students I know can relate. <laughs> so both the message of Sesame Street and the memes just resonate with people, right? Is it possible to harness and build similar connections with different memes and different pop culture elements to create other kinds of global change? It seems a little bit silly, but I think it's possible if three things happen. First, if we understand the science of memes. Second, if we take memes seriously, yes, they're funny, but if we take them seriously, and third, if we attach memes to messages backed by advocacy, action, and infrastructure. So if you've ever had a song stuck in your head, anybody, anybody ever had a song stuck in their head? So this happens to me every time I hear We Will Rock You by Queen. I don't know if anybody knows that song, right? So you're jamming to it right in the front, right? So if you've ever had a song stuck in your head, you have experienced the science of memes. There's an actual science. And the science of memes is called memetics, and it's the study of what makes ideas and information spread. It was first proposed in 1976 by Richard Dawkins, who suggested that just like genetic information is transferred from living thing to living thing by genes, cultural information can also be shared from person to person using some other mechanism. And he called this mechanism a meme, which he took from the Greek word my meme, which means imitated thing. And so under this theory, the most imitated memes are the most successful. And according to Dawkins, memes could include things like songs, ideas, catchphrases, and behaviors. These memes, according to Dawkins, could move from person to person in a way that the human eye couldn't see. So for example, if I start humming, we will rock you right now, and anybody else follow suit, or if the song is stuck in your head, later on today, that's a meme, and we are all meme hosts thereafter. So today, however, the term meme has been co-opted to mean something a little bit different, to mean when you have a piece of digital media that is copied and shared across social media or the internet really quickly. Things like viral videos, hashtags, photos, those types of things. Today's memes are an outgrowth of the original, and today's memes are actually facilitating global change. Bear with me, I've got some examples of this. So first, memes are impacting, impacting global health research. You know how? Let me show you how. By, dumping, by having people dump buckets of ice water on their head, sharing those videos on social media. So in 2014, almost 20 million people did this as part of something called the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. And it wasn't just regular people. There were pop culture icons like Oprah, David Beckham, and yes, even <laughs> Kermit. This meme raised more than $100 million in the United States alone and more than $220 million around the world for the ALS Association, which raises awareness about Lou Gehrig's disease. Some of this money funded research that discovered a new ALS gene led to new therapies and could actually lead to a cure. And this research involved 80 researchers from 11 different countries. Memes have also facilitated gender equality. 
There's a little hashtag called Me Too. Some of you may have heard of it against sexual assault and sexual harassment. That actually started as a meme. It was founded in 26, 2006 by Tarana Burke, who's pictured in the middle here. But the movement actually went viral after Alyssa Milano, who's a pop culture mainstay, tweeted about it and posted it on her blog two years ago, 2017. Since then, the Me Too movement has had global impact. For example, here in the US, 15 states passed new laws in response to the Me Too movement. In France, a legislator was so moved by the Me Too movement that she proposed legislation to address cyber stalking, sexual harassment, and street harassment, and that law was passed into law last year. Even in China, which had no national law that defined sexual assault before the Me Too movement, there's now proposed legislation that might go into effect next year. So these memes really can impact global societal change. Now, of course, they cannot replace the hard work, advocacy, policy reform, and research. These things are hard, and they take time, and memes can be fleeting. And there has to be sensitivity, cultural sensitivity, around the levity of means and the gravity of some of our social changes. But it's possible. Here's one example. This is Michelle Obama uh, posting a meme, the, the Bring Back Our Girls movement from a couple of years ago. It is possible to balance all of these things. Even with these challenges, memes can spread important messages and generate support for global causes. The human experience doesn't have a geographical boundary. The Me Too movement has more than two dozen iterations around the world. And when we think about the human, maybe emotional experience, you don't have to be from any particular country to get some of the humor and some of the experiences that happen in these pictures. Successful memes can build strong bridges, but for organizations to actually cross that bridge, memes should be connected to action and infrastructure to, to connect minds and hearts to impact global change. Thank you very much. Kermit would approve. <laughs>